right? Sometimes I go through, like, I've recorded songs that haven't left my room at all, that's still in my room. I was in this I kept on grinding, kept on working. I've gone to the studio before, going back home, I had only 100 naira. So from the, the distance was like, I needed like 500 naira to get back home. I just spoke to the guy and I was like, I'll send the Richard card. That was my own call too, because I didn't have anything on me that day. For the guy to actually assist me, I was really happy and I was like, man, God, I thank you. I've really seen different things in the music industry, but I count it all joy. Okay. Now that brings me to my next question. Do you think that after people like upcoming artists, because there are some uh, TV or radio stations that won't even invite you on their couch because you are not a known celebrity right now, and by the time you are as huge as the rest, they will be calling you and giving you special invitations to come. So how would you handle it then? Is it how how do you feel about that right now? When the time is right, they will call me. Right. But I'll keep I'll keep doing my best. No beef for now. At all. Because a lot of times I've seen a lot of celebrities who had to like struggle so much and push so much and nobody really gave them a chance. You know, the TV, the radio, people, they kept castigating them. But once they were big, the same people turned to their praise singers, inviting them, and they were like, nah, -uh, don't try it, don't come, you know. So how, will you, will you be any different, or is it the same for you? I'll be the same. You'll be the same? Be the same. <laughs> you won't pick their calls, and you're like, no, I'm not doing that. But if I call you, you will come, because Definitely, I gave you a chance. I'll come. <laughs> I was one of the people that put you on our spotlight, right? Yeah. Okay, but you'll be, can you like try and, um, okay, so let's talk about the industry now. How do you survive? How do you like, you know, make money now in a legit way? Because a lot of times we have a lot of fakery in the industry. Everybody wants to, yeah, I've arrived, I have this, you know, home and all of that stuff, you know, but how do you keep your head together? How do you push on and how do you survive day to day while you're trusting God for that big hit that will set, you know, like make you blow, like you guys like to say? Every day I wake up, I just pray to God to direct my footsteps to the right place. Mm -hmm. So, like, I don't have a car or anything. I still use bike and everything to hustle. But it's coming soon. Yeah. I that's, like you. You're keeping it real. I like Swill. He's very real. And I was like, you know, listen, I need to like bring you and talk to people because a lot of people see you on television or on the radio and they think, okay, and then you, there's this pressure for you to like do the extra things. Yeah. <laughs> do you think it's worth it doing at the all, extra? At all, at all, man. You just have to be real because if you're living the fake life, you have to live it forever. You have to keep up with it. So. I just live the real life so they know, okay, this is where I stand. So people that know they can help me, they will help me. Yeah. Instead of for me, you have it, I don't want to help you. Mm. So you just have to be open. You just have to be free and you have to let people know this is what I'm going through. All right. I like that. I like that. Then what's your advice for a lot of people who are watching and like, okay, I like Seal. He's very real. He's very <laughs> genuine. I want to do music. I don't even have, at least you have something to start with. So there are some people that you don't even have anything at all. What do you say to them right now on not giving up on their dreams? And just keep praying to God, man. One day is your day. Definitely, you are going to make it. Yeah. I started from nothing. And I'm, I know I'm going to go places. Definitely, you all will go places. So just keep grinding. Pray to God. And God will bless your hustle. Now, do us. Do a freestyle for us before we let you go. <laughs> of course, you can't expect to cover. You won't do anything in the studio, so let's do something quickly. Uh, this is basically to my dad. Okay. <laughs> oh, and before you forget, do a shout out to your manager who is right yeah, there. Shout the out studio. to my manager, Jamsin. Yeah. Out here. Yeah. Okay. And to I my mom. That. Yeah. That supports me a lot. I love you. Okay. So quickly, do us a song. Um. My papa say I'm too ambitious, ambitious. He never knew I was creating an empire like Lucius, Lucius. Now you see the fire in me burning. For this music I keep on hustling. So I pray to Jah, make he bless me. I pray to God, make he bless me. For this music I keep on stressing. For this music I keep on stressing. I remember back in my good old Shangisha. 
When we did smoke up, this she she shot. I get one girl and then I eye Alicia, but she broke my heart and she took me far. Wow, <laughs> Alicia, you're in trouble. He's doing songs about you on television. That was real. That was dope. I like, I like, I like. Welcome. Thank you so much for coming to our program. And this is all we can take on this segment. I had a lot of fun with Will. Who, he, kept, he kept it real and I love that about him. I hope you heard a lot and you learned a lot and you were encouraged as well.